I'll show you how I, as a foreigner, cook Egyptian sweets. Uh, I mentioned before that my channel is not a cooking channel. However, in my previous video, Neighbors in Egypt, you can find it up here, some of my subscribers asked me to show how I cook uh, Egyptian sweets. I cannot say no to my subscribers, so first time in the history of my channel, I will cook. So please don't be too strict when you judge me. Okay, it's the first time to do that in front of the camera. Well, what kind of sweets are gonna do? Of course, the most famous kind of Egyptian sweets are kunefa, basbusa, goulash, and ataif. Today, I will show you how I cook sweet goulash. Let's start. First, the key secret of most Egyptian sweets is syrup, or what they call honey. Don't be confused. When they say honey or asal, uh, sometimes the Egyptians mean honey as it is, or sometimes they mean also syrup. Or if you're a beautiful girl, they can also call you honey. By meaning that you're beautiful, maybe inside, maybe also outside, both. Well, so how do I make syrup? Uh, first, I want to tell you about my cooking motto, which is my food should be healthy, fast, easy. Fast and easy because I'm a working mother, so I don't have much time to spend in the kitchen. Healthy because uh, I care about the health of my family. However, in today's video, we're talking about sweets, Egyptian sweets with a lot of sugar. So I think we have to forget the word healthy today. Today will be just easy, fast and tasty. So, first thing we do is syrup. What we need? One and a half glass of sugar and a glass of water. That's it. Just specially for you, I decided to check how many grams of sugar do I actually use. Honestly, I never checked that. Let's see together. So, one glass. And a half. Oh, it's 300 grams. So now as a professional cook, I can say for goulash, we need 300 grams of sugar and a glass of water. Now we need to put it on the fire to boil. When it starts boiling, leave it for five minutes on the small fire. Let's do it together. There is something I must tell you about. Why I started cooking first with a syrup. It's a key secret for most Egyptian sweets. Your goulash should be hot, while your syrup should be cold when you put them together. So, first I always cook syrup, then I leave it for a while to cool down and later put it in the fridge. But what if I don't have enough time? I will give you my trick. I put it away and I pour it into a cold pan. Then I take it inside the room, switch on air conditioner, then I put it on the cold floor. When the air conditioner is on, the floor is always cold. So this helps the syrup to cool down much, much faster. After a while, I check, and if it's cool enough, I put it in the fridge. So, my syrup will be cold enough to make a fantastic goulash. Let's see what's going on with our syrup. Now our syrup looks a bit thicker and a bit yellowish, so it's ready. We can switch off the gas. I just leave it on the side. I have enough time to wait till it cools down. Well. Cooked sweet goulash has three stages. The first one is syrup. We have finished. The second stage is making the cream that you put inside. Let me show you how I do it. Uh, you need to remember only two numbers. Two, three, three. Two glasses of milk, three spoons of sugar, three spoons of starch. That's it. Two, three, three. 
Very simple. First, milk. Finish with number two. Now number three. Uh, sugar, you can use any, anyone. Uh, as for storage, I prefer corn to starch. But it's up to you. Sugar. And starch. Now just stir it and put it on the fire. Time for the fire. Here, no life hacks. Just keep stirring till it gets thick. Don't leave it or it will burn down and it will be still liquid on top. Look, it gets thick very fast, so keep stirring. Well, we finished two stages. Now, the final, the main stage, goulash itself. My favorite company that makes goulash is called Sambulla. However, right now I don't have it. I have another one. I can't read it, I'm sorry, but it's also a good one. So if you go to the supermarket, my advice, choose Sambulla. How I know, I never read it. It's just black box. If you find a black box, on which written phyllo pastry leaves, this is what you need. Well, before we start putting goulash, we need to have some butter. Honestly, I prefer this one. I believe it's a really good one. I put here three spoons of butter. Uh, it's not liquid. I need it to be liquid. So we have a microwave to help us. Just 20 seconds. Stay away when it's working. Our butter is ready. Now it's absolutely melted so we can work with it. Well, it's time to open our goulash. This is our goulash. You have to be careful when you open it, as the leaves are really thin. If you use this company for the first time, I advise you just count how many leaves you have, because you need to divide it into half. So usually it's like 14, so I use it like 7 and 7, but you can check, maybe in the company you use, they have different number of leaves. Now, there is a problem. The tray I have is round. But the lush leaves are rectangular. What can I do? Ah, before I continue, it's very important. You cannot use glass tray for goulash. Never. Why? Remember I told you, we put very cold syrup on the hot goulash. What will happen with the, with the glass? It will crack. So you have to use only metal, stainless steel or aluminum, whatever you have. I prefer stainless steel quartz. So, this is circle and this is rectangular. Yes, you can put inside each leaf and cut it, but I told you, I prefer my work to be fast and easy. So, see what I usually do. Put it in the middle and cut. Russian. I can't throw all this in the basket. I will use that too. So, first of all, I have to put some butter inside the tray. Silicone brushes are very useful for that. You always put by two layers. Every two layers will have to put some butter on it. Why? I will tell you later. Okay, I put two layers. Now I can use some of my leftovers. Uh, pay 
intention. Leaves have some rest some flour so they will not stuck to each other. So if you don't put butter every two layers, when you eat, the leaves will be all separated with these pieces of flour. And next two layers of the goulash. goulash for 20 minutes in the oven with a temperature 200 degrees Celsius. Wait and enjoy! 20 minutes finished. Let's see our goulash. This is how it looks. Now we need to put syrup, cold syrup, as fast as possible from the fridge. It's a bit thick and yellowish. Okay, now you see that syrup is too much. Don't worry, it will be all absorbed. So, you don't eat it straight away. Leave it for a while. And when all the juice is absorbed by the goulash, then it's time to cut it and eat soft, sweet, very tasty goulash. Try it. Well, this is my recipe how I cook sweet goulash. My Egyptian friends, please leave your comment down Tell me, do you like the way I do it? Or maybe you can give me some advice how to make it in a better way. And my foreign friends, uh, please write a comment if I encouraged you to try to make Egyptian goulash. And if you do it, please leave your comment if you like the taste or not. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.